Trevor Reed's family is preparing for his return at their home in Texas. His father, Joey, hanging an American flag. His mother, Paula, struggling to contain her joy. Finally, after waiting all this time, I'm going to be able to hug my kid, you know, put my arms around him. You know, I had a little bit of a, a panic attack when he told me he was going to spend the whole summer in Russia. So nine months, and then now it's been almost a thousand days. So I'm just excited to see him. The former Marine was sentenced to a nine-year sentence in July 2020. He was accused and convicted of drunkenly assaulting Russian police officers, though he insisted during his trial he had no memory of the event. His family described the charges as deeply suspicious and last month held a protest at the White House before meeting with President Biden to ask him to help secure their son's release. In a statement, President Biden has praised the safe return of Reid as a testament to the priority his administration places on bringing home Americans held hostage and wrongfully detained abroad, adding, it required difficult decisions that I do not take lightly. When he referenced uh, the tough decision in his uh, statement this morning, he was referencing uh, the decision to commute the sentence of Konstantin Yaroshenko. Uh, I would emphasize that um, this individual had already served the majority of his prison sentence for a nonviolent drug crime. The press secretary would not be drawn on the fate of other Americans being held in Russia. Has the president been in touch with or does he plan to reach out to Paul Whelan's family, Brittany Griner's family, any of the other families who have loved ones detained in Russia? Uh, we have, of course, been in touch with their families uh, over the course of time. I'm not going to detail those conversations further. After being released from prison, Reed was transferred from a Russian plane to a U.S. one at a Turkish airport. The primary concern of his waiting family is his health. As his parents, we know he does not look well. He's very thin. He was walking strange and it looked like they had to help him get up in the airplane. Yeah, he uh, didn't look good. So I understand there's some medical personnel on the plane with him and they're checking him out. So that's our main concern right now. And the debriefing and all that stuff, that can come later. We just want to make sure that his health is good. But the parents have returned into their home, content that their son is free. The prisoner swap would have been remarkable even in times of peace. But it's all the more surprising given that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has driven the relationship with the U.S. to the lowest level this century. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.